What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. In today's video, we have a review of the AnyTrans program. And we're talking about this program in here created by iMobi that you can download for free. There is a free trial for it. It's available for iOS and Android. And we're going to showcase what it can do and what's my opinion on it because it's actually a good program. And I'm going to show you what it does. It's actually an iOS and Android data management program that can help you to synchronize your phone with your computer, to transfer data from your iOS to your Android or from your Android to iOS or from both of them to your computer and it does this pretty pretty well so let's see what it can do well uh, before we start the review I want to tell you that in partnership with iMobi we're giving away three licenses for this program for three random people in the comment section who will comment with give me the license so go ahead comment with give me the license and I'm going to pick three random people using a random picker and I'm going to give them a license for this program so let's get started so the program looks like this you can minimize or shrink or whatever this uh, window here you can pretty much make it comfortable for you so this is how it looks like well I am pretty much able to uh, connect a device disconnect a device for example right now there is no device connected if you take a look in here uh, and I'm going to connect my device quickly but uh, one point to the design it's definitely a great design I like the design of this application and it's really really top-notch I mean the menus are pretty well made the animations are pretty well made it's it's just good. So I'm going to show you what happens when I connect the phone. In fact, it's going to be an iPod touch we're using here in the studio for testing. And as you can see, the uh, program in here has already picked up the device. Now, some important facts. This will also give you a lot of information about your device. You can actually restore the device, shut it down, or get more info, and using this button, you can safely remove the device. This bar in here tells you how much space you have left, and this is the name of your device. Let's get some information about the device that I just connected. So as you can see, there's this pop-up in here, which looks pretty neat, actually. And you have this graph in here, which tells you how much of your data is actually photos, how much is apps, others, or iOS itself, which is the system. And in my case, the iOS itself is actually occupying a lot of stuff. It's 1.7 gigs. And I can edit the name of my phone. For example, I can make it, um, I don't know, George's um, iPod. Okay, done. And it worked. You can copy all this information to the clipboard. There's a lot of info going on here. It gives you any information you want. But that's not the purpose of the uh, tool. It's just an addition that is actually pretty cool. So what it can do? Well, it manages your iTunes library. You can actually backup stuff with it. You can manage your backups. And one important feature it has is Air Backup. Now, this allows you to do backups wirelessly to the program at a specific interval of time and you can do instant backups and so on. So you enable the air backup and of course you will be prompted to allow that on your phone if you didn't already. And then you will be able to pretty much backup your device using a Wi-Fi hotspot or wireless LAN. And as you can see here, it uh, gives you a lot of information about how it works. And it says that any trans is backing up your device and it's 90%. Okay, I'm going to press OK in here and I can schedule air backups so that my device will backup while on wireless. So I don't have to plug it in nonstop and I can switch, of course, between three days and other um, uh, time intervals. Now, I'm going to get back to it in a couple seconds, but there are also other functions that you can use. So one of the most important things that I found here, aside from the design that looks pretty neat, and I think iTunes should look like this by default, is the fast drive. Now, what it does is actually it turns your device, your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, in an USB flash drive, and you can actually put data into it. For example, I have this code in here. This is actually C code that I put in here to have on my device. And I can pretty much use it as a stick, as a memory stick. And you can see I have 11.2 gigs available. It would be a waste not to use them. You can add files. You can copy the files back to your computer whenever you want. As you can see, transfer completed and so on. Then if you go back in here to the home, you also have the add content, which I found very, very neat. You can actually add photos or videos or whatever you want on the fly. You just select it without messing with iTunes and synchronizing with one specific computer and so on. So I press this in here. I select the photo that I want to get, for example, test one. I press in here 
preparing transfer and it's synchronizing and the photo will be downloaded to the phone automatically with no problem and of course it will appear in my collection so as you can see it says transfer completed which is something great the photo is now available and I'm going to show you in a few seconds what's going on in there but I can connect to iTunes I can connect two different devices this is something interesting I have my iPod connected in here and if I now connect my Android device I can pretty much copy the content from one device to another or I can clone my device. So let's say I've been using an older device, for example, um, let's say I had an iPhone 6 for a few years, and now I decided to finally upgrade to an iPhone 10. Well, all my contents and all my, you know, all my personal life is on that device. My photos, my music, my contacts, my messages. I can try to copy them manually through backups in iTunes and so on, but really it's, it's hard. So I can simply connect both of them in here press clone and it would help me to pretty much uh, clone this device, the other device that I had, my older device, into the new one seamlessly with no problems. And that's something that I liked about this, um, this thing. Of course, you can switch in here to more applications. And something that I also liked was the file system uh, application in here. You press system and it will show you all the folders that you can access in the sandbox of the device. And you have the folders with your pictures, for example, um, 100 Apple is actually containing all your pictures and you can actually uh, download them locally. For example, I can get this one and put it in here. It will transfer it and there we go. The transfer has been completed and you have this folder in here with your transfers system and there you go. This is the photo and it opens. So yeah, it's a photo from my phone, but as you can see, I'm able to transfer arbitrary files from the phone with no problem without having to mess with iTunes at all. This is what I like about this program. It makes things easier and it looks cleaner. It has that Apple-esque uh, style to it, you know, with white and with pretty clear icons. It really mimics the style of Apple and I really like it. And I really wish uh, iTunes looked like this. There is now the iOS mover one. If you want to move from your Android to your iOS or from your iOS to your Android, it's really, really easy. You just have to connect the devices and this will help you to pretty much move your stuff from a device to another, from two different operating systems. This is really nice. Then of course you have the iCloud manager if you want to manage your data that is stored on the iCloud and you can connect with your credentials in here. You can download media from your favorite uh, media websites and then you can actually even give a different style to this application in here. Yes, it supports themes. It's not an important component, don't get me wrong. You don't need this in order to transfer your data, but it's a nice addition. So I'm currently using this Apple-esque uh, white style in here, and I can switch to Space Black, which will be downloaded apparently. And once it's downloaded, I will be able to have a black theme to this program, which of course, if you're using it a lot in order to manage your data and in order to manage your stuff on your computer and on your phone, you of course want a little bit of personalization. Now, while the theme is downloading in the background, I'm going to talk a little bit about the documentation available for this. At first, I had some troubles um, understanding what Air Backup is. Fortunately enough, the um, web page in here has everything covered. It explains very well how to use the program. So even if you're a beginner in macOS and iOS and how things work, you will be able to understand very well how things work. And they also have a dedicated support line for their customers so that if you have any questions that are not covered in here, or if you're not understanding something, you can definitely drop them a line. Then of course, there is the frequent asked questions in here, which pretty much cover a lot of things. Really, anything you can think of is actually covered in here, including how to do anything with this uh, program. So a lot of things that are very important. The program is also available in multiple languages, starting from English and going to Japanese and German and French and whatever. So you're pretty much able to uh, select whatever language you want from here. And yeah, it's pretty good addition. Now you can check for updates right from the application, which is again something nice. Some of the applications I have tried do not have this addition. But anyways, iMobi's applications are usually very well styled. They have a nice design, they have nice features. And since there is a free trial available, why not downloading the free trial to see if you like it or not? I mean, you don't have to pay for the free trial. So 
you can definitely check it out and see if you like it. But anyways, it has a lot of features that I actually like. You can submit a request right from the application, which is something good. And if it crashes or has problems, you can send a log to their team, which is again a nice addition. Some apps do not give you any communication channel to the developers. Now the theming in here has been downloaded, I can apply it. Okay, so now it looks like this. If you love dark backgrounds and if you like your applications to be darker, then it's definitely nice. I, I just wish that this text was white by default without having to press on it. But yeah, it appears that once you select them, they remain white. So yeah, it's probably a bug in there, I'm going to report it to them. But anyways, overall, I like the program. It's okay, it has a lot of things that I like. There are a couple things that I do not like, for example, as I said, the fact that on the um, on the darker theme, it's harder to read some of the text. For example, in the management here, you can see that the gray text is not very well suited for the black background. But anyways, I like the fact that you can theme your program and it's pretty nice. So if you want to check it out, it's in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to check out the free trial. And also do not forget to comment with give me the license so that I will pick three random people from the comment section and I'm going to give them a free premium license for the program. Thank you for watching, I'm Geo Snow, until the next time, peace out.